A very good morning and thanks for clicking on to the uh, Tuesday edition of Bogan's European Outlook. Hope everybody is well today thus far. Um, I've just released this article, by the way, with re regards to the, the video that I did yesterday speaking about the La Nina situation. If you haven't already, do check out the video from yesterday afternoon. But uh, also, I urge you to check out the article if you're interested in any way with regards to the La Nina, what that um what that's all about and also its impact um on Earth's atmosphere, not to mention of course the global warming, glo climate change, um whatever um label you want to put on it, the significant impact that we're seeing at the moment and the overall trend. This is basically um my um version of um events if you will globally at the moment and i also speak about my thoughts with regards to the overall picture with regards to climate change um so i do urge you to please have a read of that article and um you know uh, also of course check out yesterday's video as well but the article is a lot more detailed it goes into things a wee bit more than the video did yesterday uh, morning um but uh, yeah so that is on marthoganweather.com um at the moment here it's been released so also this is the scene in a place called Sapporo in Japan now Sapporo is um basically the second snowiest location or city uh, on earth and um it has been receiving just unbelievable amounts of snowfall it is used to receiving unbelievable amounts of snowfall but uh, the snow that they're receiving at the moment is uh, pretty much record breaking the place is becoming buried in snow and yes folks in the uk do not want to hear that i get that i understand that i feel your pain but certainly it is very noteworthy the amount of snow that we're receiving in the Japanese city of Sapporo at this very moment in time. Now, I want to look at the Japanese situation here because it is quite interesting. A place that's used to seeing snow, but the snow that is it fallen at the moment and has been fallen for a while now has been nothing short of remarkable. And I want to look uh, very briefly at what the situation is all about. Now, of course, in the winter time, typically get winds. Uh, blowing off a very cold uh, continental Asia over the Sea of Japan. And of course, that moisture and cold air, uh, it bumps up into the Japanese Alps. It forces the air to rise, cool, condense, and instead of falling as rain, it falls as snow uh, because it is cold. Um, but at the very moment, we've got almost the perfect scenario taking place. Now, the jet stream is to the south of Japan. We've got 10 49 area of high pressure uh, to kind of the west of uh, Japan and with of course the jet stream uh, west to east um, to the south of uh, Japan itself here is Japan here I hope you can make that out but what is taking place essentially is that we've got uh, the winds blowing around this uh, area of high pressure uh, over the continent uh, over the sea of Japan uh, relatively warm waters moisture bumping up against the Alps and falling as heavy snowfall. It has been a cold and a very snowy winter in Japan. And uh, if you notice here, this is the um, 850 millibar temperature anomaly chart here. Uh, very, very colder uh, over um, much of China and including, uh, including Japan here. And as I skip through the loop here, you can see here, that uh, we've got um, a constant push of cold air. Now, we do see a temporary respite for Japan, but it looks as if we are going to uh, see more cold coming in off Asia into Japan as we push towards the middle uh, and even the second half of February here. So certainly pretty remarkable stuff when it comes to uh, snowfall in what is well known as the snowiest place on Earth. Now, uh, as you can see here, this is the European view here of the GFS Ensemble, uh, a very zonal, uh, very flat um, jet orientation at the moment here. So we've got low pressure in the north, high pressure in the south, you've got a straight westerly wind. Uh, but the one saving grace about all this is, is the fact that if you look at the next chart, which is the Atlantic view, 
this is for the same period, the upcoming five days, and you can actually see a uh, height rises over the North Atlantic. Now, the saving grace to this uh, is is the fact that we're going to start to see uh, and continue to see, should I say, winds coming in more from a west to northwesterly direction. So we're tapping in cold air from Greenland, ocean modified, of course, but it's a saving grace when it comes to uh, a cold pattern. So we've got that flat west east jet stream. But because of heights being a little bit further north, uh, up into the northwest Atlantic here, we're seeing the areas of low pressure uh, coming in from a west to northwesterly direction. And that is, of course, keeping Scotland cold than normal. Now, of course, for the rest of Europe, it's pretty much a blow torch um, for the next five days here. But notice Scotland, notice um part of southern norway in the blues here representing colder than normal so you know scotland is one of the few places in europe uh, that is actually cooler than normal over the next five days and for the simple fact one of the big saving graces is that area of high pressure over the northwest atlantic here i will have more about the overall picture and the long-term pattern as we go th uh, through the middle and second half of february probably in the next video but um, so that's it for today. Interesting things. Uh, do check out marfoganweather.com. Of course, uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the, my YouTube channel, I have videos pretty much every day. Uh, lots of interesting things to look at. It's not just about the UK or Europe, but it's also about the globe and the global pattern overall. So lots of things here to keep you interested. Uh, I do certainly try my best. To keep things fresh and interesting so of course like share and of course subscribe and of course hit the uh, notification button for the latest notifications hope you have a great one bye for now